This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, in this just previous video, I have told you that in Selenium 4, how to take the screenshot. So this is the way we have to take the screenshot. This method is there on the specific element. You can apply, get the screenshot as method is there, and then you can copy this screenshot file to the new destination over here, and then you can generate the screenshot that we have already covered. There is another way also that uh, how to take the screenshot with some other way, but you have to use Selenium 4 version also. So in my prompted XML file, Selenium 4 version, I have already added and the web driver manager also I'm adding. Now let's create another class and then quickly I'll tell you, it's a very simple, the old way, okay, that we used to take the screenshot for the entire page. In similar way, you can take the screenshot for the specific web element also. So let's create a class. And I'll take that uh, element screenshot, okay? Element screenshot part part two, okay? Whatever the name you want to give. Select the main method and I'll do one thing. I'll just copy paste uh, all these guys from here, web driver manager, these three web elements and uh, till here. I'll enter the username password, okay? And I'm talking about this particular application app.hubspot.com you enter the username password and the login button is there same thing i'm doing it over here that email id password login button forward password i have created these four web elements and i'm entering the username password i'm not clicking on login button so if you remember that how to take screenshot for the entire page right we have already covered in my previous videos that uh, to take the screenshot what you need to do this is your driver and you have to typecast your driver into one interface is there that is called take screenshot interface is there, right? And this particular take screenshot guys, you have to write it like this. You have to convert that into, okay? Your driver should be converted into take screenshot interface. And this take a screenshot interface, you have to import, but import will happen. So you just need to do one thing that you need to write uh okay once a screenshot is taken then i'll write let's see something src source file is equal to something like this one second yeah. and then you import this particular file from here and then you will see that take screenshot okay, okay one second Take a screenshot and uh, dot get. Okay, the options are not coming, so I'll do one thing. You will do one thing, you will write something like this. Convert that into your driver and uh, like this. Okay. And uh, you just simple write dot write as options not coming. We have to import this take a screenshot. So let me import this take a screenshot somewhere. Let me do one thing. Okay. Or I'll do one thing. This we will store inside the take a screenshot reference. This is just an older way. So let's see. This is uh, I'll write scr shot. Okay. Is equal to this like this. And then you have to, I think there is a spelling mistake I'm doing, take screenshot. Okay, so it's saying change it to this, okay. Yeah, and this one we have to, okay, yeah. And then you can see that import is done over here, right? So once this is done, what I'll do, that on this particular SCR shot, a dot uh, one method is there that get a screenshot as method is there and this particular get a screenshot as method you simply write that is your output type dot file okay this is a thing that you have to use it output type dot file and this is a typical way to take the screenshot and this scr shot will return one uh, file object so i'll store inside the file object let's see something like this file 
uh, source file is equal to this like this and then it will take the complete page uh, screenshot and then we will use same thing file utils dot copy file and uh, this is the source file and where exactly want to store i want to store somewhere same way go to my target folder and uh, under screenshots uh, folder see i'm talking about this particular folder go to target and the screenshot folder take all the screenshots over here and uh, what is your screenshot name so let's say i'm giving page dot png it means take the screenshot for the entire page right and uh, just need to write inside the new file object like this this is a typical way of taking the screenshot the this uh, concept is already available in selenium right in selenium 3 also it's there so far i'm not using selenium 4 we are just trying to create the screenshot take the screenshot for let me add uh, throws declaration and uh, take the screenshot for the entire page okay so we can just a second let me yeah let me close this class and open it again part two yeah so no errors and let's see it should take the entire page screenshot so let's run it and let's see and then we will see how can we take the screenshot for the entire i mean over for a specific web element okay so it's uh take okay after entering the username and password it should take the screenshot let's see okay so screenshot has been taken and let's see it is actually working or not we will refresh this target folder and yeah page.png got created you can see that okay yeah after entering the username and password this page.png you can see it got created right okay so this is about the web okay web page now how to take the web element it's very simple guys what is the web element that you have created this particular email web element instead of driver type casting you simple pass your email <laughs> okay and then you write let's see your uh, something like let's see email one dot png okay then you try to create you just simple run it and then it will create the screenshot for the specific web element now okay so let's see it's creating it or not okay so now let's go to the target folder once again screenshot and refresh this you will see that email one.png and it's taking the screenshot for element also right so like this also you can do it earlier you can see very straightforward method that we have already seen in my previous video that you simply use element dot get a screenshot as method is there you apply the get screenshot as method directly on the web element here the old the older way that we used to do that how to take the full page screenshot we were typecasting a driver into take a screenshot now you just need to typecast your web element so if you really want to create a utility for this you simply create a simple utility public avoid take element screenshot and you need a couple of things you need first of all web element give me the web element and the string what is the file name that you want to store and then i'll copy this entire stuff from here cut it and paste it over here and this element will be replay okay will be written over here and uh, what else and then we will add the try catch block right and whatever the file name that you are passing the same file name i'll be appending over here so this appended with plus this is a variable name plus appended with a dot png right that's it and i'll call this particular method three four times how many web elements are there okay like this so get a screenshot as method is there so i'll make it a static so that i can call it directly and uh, yeah, this is a method name sorry okay so what is the element names so my element name is email what is the file name that you want to pass so let's say i'm passing email one okay as a file name with string and uh, quickly one two three four elements are there password password login button 
login button and forgot password forgot password and i'll simply say this is password uh, one this is login button one dot png why i'm writing one because in the previous video in the previous uh, logic we have already created email password and all so i don't want to replace them i want to create a new png file so that you guys can see it like this right that's it and every time this particular method will be called we are passing the web element and that this particular element email will be given to this element and this element will be typecasted into screenshot method i mean take a screenshot and then this is a interface not a class and then you run it again and let's see email one password one login one button and the forgot password link also should be created so okay program is done let's go back to screenshot and refresh over here here you can see that this is email one fine forgot <coughs> forgot password one login button one perfectly fine and the password one also so all the screenshots guys are available over here you can see that okay you can see email one and uh, <coughs> And uh, this is the login one, button one, password one, all these, okay, forgot password one. These four web element <coughs> screenshots are available, right? So there are, there are two ways, guys. Earlier we have seen that you can directly apply, get a screenshot as method on the particular web element or the older version also, I mean, the older way also you can use it to convert typecast into this. So this is this might be important for interview point of view and you can in your framework also you can maintain two methods if someone wants to use this method or someone wants to use that method both the utilities you can provide to your developers okay to your test automation developers right so that's all for, for this particular video i missed actually this particular thing in my previous video that's why i have created one more video on the same topic but in a different way so thank you so much for watching this video guys and i'll see you in the next video bye bye